In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, people walking along Pier 66 will see these coral sculptures lining the dock. But these sculptures are not just public art. They are artificial reefs and a part of the 1,000 Mermaids Project. Sierra Raspberry is one of the artists behind it. Uh, the Thousand Mermaids Project is uh, essentially going to be an ecology and an art project um, that's going to serve as a, as a diving destination for people in the Fort Lauderdale and South Florida area. And uh, it's going to help with um, bringing back, you know, uh, reef systems to an area that's very depleted um, off of our beaches. The statues are made of a limestone-based concrete, a type of rock consisting mostly of calcium carbonate, the same material that forms coral reefs. Mermaids like these are still in progress, but when the statues are dropped into the ocean, they'll help to fill a gap that the loss of coral reefs has left. The reality is we need as much um, structure underwater as possible. It's kind of like planting trees. You could never plant enough trees to help reverse some of the damage that we do to our environment. The project aims to bring a renewed interest to artificial reefs, but only if they raise enough money to see it through. The project has been funded through private donations, Currently, they don't have enough to drop the statues. We just need the help of the community and others to, to help us get to as big a number as we can. And Dr. John McManus, a professor of marine biology and fisheries at the University nice. of Miami, is hopeful about what this project can accomplish. We have to get more and more people to realize what's going on with the coral reefs and uh, the, the fisheries. He cautions that the artificial reef habitats are only effective if overfishing does not occur. The statues, of course, are going to be beautiful. And I would hate to see them, among other things, just draped with pieces of fishing net and, and uh, all kinds of fishing lines. Sierra and her team worked alongside Broward County officials to select the site for their artificial reef, a designated area right off of Fort Lauderdale Beach. Sand has to be a certain depth. It's about two inches of sand on a hard, rocky bottom with nothing else going on in that area. So it's, it's very like bare and there's, there's no other structures around. And that's really important because we want to make sure that whatever we put out in the ocean doesn't damage anything that's currently growing. And that's really, really, really the best, you know, I ideal spot for the reefs. The artificial coral and mermaids will provide a new environment for marine life to thrive if 1,000 Mermaids gets the necessary funding to deploy the sculptures. For your South Florida, I'm Gabrielle Coriotti.